All right, I'm Nick Kwiatkowski. Um, I work on a project to communication enable uh, business process a uh, remote EKG. <coughs> so um, part of my project here is I built a uh, little device here, an IoT device that uh, is an actual EKG reader. So um, I am actually wearing a wire here. You see, <laughs> an actual EKG. So uh, this unit here is. Uh, here. Let's start with the problem domain. So healthcare workers relying on uh, local uh, alarming of critical patients. So if you go to a typical uh, ICU or healthcare system or something like that, uh, a lot of times you'll see EKG units connected up to the uh, to the patient. So when I say EKG, these are going to be um, uh, heart sensors essentially. So they're going to be uh, judging the uh, the rhythmic uh, the rhythmic uh, motions of the heart uh, through electrical sensors. Um, Right now, EKGs are mainly read by triage nurses and doctors and all stuff in real time to determine if a further diagnosis is required for patients. So, uh, really, what's happening is either on a screen or on a ticker tape, or sometimes in uh, certain uh, healthcare applications, they can uh, read these uh, EKG signals to figure out if you know is the heart working correctly, uh, is it firing at the right time, all that type of stuff. So my solution is to build a portable, uh, small, and instant electrical cardiogram sensor that is uh, workflow enabled. So the device itself is actually a 4G LTE device um, connected to send real-time data into the cloud. Uh, if certain uh, criteria are met, it's actually going to trigger a workflow that can uh, either escalate to a doctor or a, a triage nurse or something like that. It allows the doctor then to ask the EKG additional information. For example, uh, the doctor may be able to ask for, um, send me a copy of that EKG over the last 30 seconds or something like that, and you actually get an MMS uh, right to their phone, uh, and continue getting them like, you know, to do fire, uh, further diagnosis when they're not uh, directly connected to the units. Um, they can also escalate, so the system right now also uh, escalates to a conference call over multiple people that can be uh, selected by the unit. So, for example, the doctor gets the call saying, hey, a person is an alarm. Uh, it can automatically go into a conference call that can bring in uh, certain people to start the triage process while they're, uh, while they're uh, further away from the patient. Um, one of the things that uh, this will also be able to do is to do some automatic uh, sensing of EKG patterns, uh, run through an AI system to figure out what is normal and what is not. Um, that's a piece I didn't get fully finished uh, in this weekend, but uh, I did start uh, on that piece. So. The actual architecture, uh, I've got a, a particle boron LTE unit. Again, that's uh, this little thing over here on the circuit board. Uh, it's talking to the particle cloud, which is going to a mediation server. Uh, it's supposed to be on the Google Cloud platform. From there, the, uh, if the certain criteria are met, uh, it will then push a, a notification out to the live cloud. Or is uh, placing a phone call, doing text messaging, the MMS, and all the other things, um, bringing in conferencing and all that uh, type of stuff as well. So let's go to a live demo. Um, I'm going to start by connecting this uh, unit up here just for power. By the way, the unit itself can actually be powered by a little battery. Uh, this battery over here uh, lasts about uh, 15 days or so without a recharge uh, on the LT device. If it's connected to Wi-Fi or things like that, it can be almost 30 days. So let me go ahead and connect things up here. Just a moment. And while the unit is booting up, my USBs always go the wrong way. Show that it is actually processing an EKG. So just a moment here, and this is a uh, application that is actually uh, reading from an MQQT uh, um, queue here to actually show my real uh, EKG as I'm standing here. So unfortunately, uh, this is just a three-wire sensor. So if I'm moving around, you'll actually see it go kind of weird. <laughs> um, but it is showing right now that it, there's a heart rate of 126, which is because I'm standing and talking and all that. But um, this over here is the, the live sensor and all that type of stuff I'm talking to it. So I'm going to close this out here because it kind of messes up some of the other processes in the background while I'm in that diagnosis mode. So um, if I'm in a situation where I'm getting uh, my heartbeat sense uh, and all that type of stuff remotely, 
Um, right now, I, it is in normal mode, so if my, because my heart rate is fairly normal right now, it's not going to trigger. But I'm actually going to go and push the criteria down quite a bit. So right now, the threshold is, let's see here. I'm going to go set my threshold down to 30 beats per minute as uh, something to alarm out on. So it's going to go send that out, and I'll actually see through my uh, uh, queue over here, it's going to actually start placing a phone call in a moment. And we'll see. Maybe. Oh, come on. <laughs> or maybe not. Let's do this a little faster. Hold on. So I actually have a way to manually set what that, uh, that um, trigger is. Oh, there it goes. So it's actually triggering right, right now, right now. And my handy dandy phone down over here, I've got it in a buy a phone. I'm going to go pick up. <laughs> happened in the background is my mediation server is pulling together the last 30 seconds of my EKG and it just sent a message which I can pull up over here and this is actually uh, right on my live phone you can see that on here as well so the doctor can get some information here of uh, what's actually going on in real time I can continue I can respond back to this and it can escalate it can go bring a bunch of people into a conference call um, it can do logging up the state and all that so that is, so uh, for future updates, of course, I do want to uh, continue uh, bringing this into the uh, um, Azure Machine Learning to learn what the normal, um, a patient's normal heart rhythm is. Every patient has a slightly different heart rhythm. They all basically look the same. But like, for example, mine is slightly different than everybody else in the room here. So uh, trying to trigger out, like, what is abnormal for a particular patient and then triggering on that as opposed to just heart rate or for a minimum or maximum, things like that. So that's all I have.